Hey, thanks so much for being here. Welcome or welcome back. On this video, I want to talk about routines for a real person, for a real human. So if you are interested on this kind of topics, I hope you stick around. This video has been inspired by so many other videos anyways, but there's this one that talks about the um, um, routine of the Hoverman, Hoverman's routine or something like that. Um, and it, it just triggered something in me. This routine seems so extreme and so exhausting just to think about it and just real unrealistic and it is based on um supposed to be based on science there's a whole um topic about this and podcasts and just people talking about it all over the place but the, I, I just i don't even know how i feel about it like i like routines myself i definitely uh, thrive on actual routines but when people try to like overdo it in a point to a point where it just seems unrealistic and i'm not saying that he doesn't do the routine that he preaches about right but um it's just it's just unrealistic that's my opinion but what i wanted to talk about today is how to apply a or build a routine for a real human for a real person and i am going to pretend on this video that i have a nine to five job i do not i work from home and it is a little bit different and to, in my opinion, since I have had both, I have been at a corporate job for a few years and I have also been a work from home and a business owner person, I can compare the two and can tell you that it is so much harder to work from home than actually go to an office for a set amount of time. And that's, again, my opinion, my own experience. But I'm going to pretend that at this routine, it's going to be building up um, for or build up for a person that has a nine to five job. And what I'm trying to see here is if I could arrange everything that I do or that I would like to do and that those changes that I want to see in myself, how can I apply all of that in my goal settings and all the, the things that I want to do in a, in a normal, you know, I guess 12, 15 hour day. Um, if I was going to an actual office from nine to five every single day. So um, to start, I won't have my notebook here because I do want to refer back to the original um, time tracking or uh, my ideal day spread that I did at the beginning of the year or maybe last year, I can't remember. Um, but this, this is a spread that has been very helpful. It looks very messy. It looks very childish, but it truly has been super helpful. Every time I feel and it happens that um, I don't know what to do because again, I don't have like uh, an, a structure on, on time per se. I don't necessarily have to have my uh, start my work at 8 a.m. I can just start it whenever and I can just work any day of the week and stuff like that. But um, still, when, when that happens, and even though you have all the time available to do what you got to do, it's just much different because everything is sort of happening at once. So um, if I were to go to an office from 9 to 5, I know that by 8, I'm out of the door and I, I'll be back at 6. So that window of time is precisely just for work. And maybe on my lunch break, I could do something else, maybe content create or something like that. That's my thoughts about it. Um, but then I know that before 8 a.m., that's my me time. And after 6 p.m., I can do anything else that I still want to accomplish that day. And there is time is as long as you have a good idea on a clear idea, actually, on what is it that you want to accomplish. And then you actually do the exercise of arranging those things throughout your day. So I guess the idea of the video is to refer back to my routines and things that I'd like to accomplish each day. Then I'm going to refer back to the Hoverman's um, routine. I did a little summary here of his routine and I try to apply some of my own um, items that are items or things that I'd like to do on a daily basis. And how can I exchange some of those approaches that he recommends, supposedly. Um, uh, and I'm, I'm going to refer to this just to kind of have an idea on how can I tweak this to be more realistic. And um, and I guess the idea of the whole video will be that I will be creating a um, a routine based on having a nine to five job and still want to apply um, all the things that I want to do. So I just wanted to take you along this exercise because I do want to genuinely know if I'm able to fit everything that I want to do. I'm able to, if I'm able to also fit um, his his approach, sort of, or, or some of his ideas and approaches, and uh, and see how, how that goes. So the first, the very first thing I'm going to be doing is just creating a spread here, super easy and a very, um, just straight to the point, and, um, and then start plugging in the things that I want to 
um, how I would like my day to go by if I was going out and working in an office. And uh, the idea again of this exercise and sharing it with you is to perhaps just share a realistic view into um, what having a routine to implement the change that you want to see um, can look like for a real person, somebody that actually has, you know, kids. And um, if, if I was going to work, um, it has to maintain a home, um, have a partner and all these other goals and ideas and self-care and all those other things that I still want to accomplish in my days. So I don't want to live to just go to the office every single day for the rest of my life. I want to actually build something and, and just live, right? Um, so yeah, I just wanted to, I really feel like I, I want to take you along with this. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use both pages for this spread. And what I'll do is I'm just going to use the center of the page as my guide for my times of the day. So I'm trying, going to see if I can fit the entire thing. Um, actually, I need another pen. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to be using my Sharpies because it's just darker and easier to see. So, um, so again, I'm going to be trying to add the times of the day um, I'm thinking if I have to go to work at let's say 9 I will have to leave um, just based on my previous experience I would have been living at um, I think it was like 30 minutes actually not not an hour but um, I, I try to always aim to be ready to leave at least an hour ahead so um, yeah so that's that's what I will try to do anyways um, and then allow me also an hour after um, after work. So if I had to, if I'm off at five, then I will be home at six. And that allows me to just, you know, um, take my time if there's anything that I had to stop by on my way back home and do and stuff like that. So um, visually, I guess, or in my head, that's, that's what I will do. And yeah, basically that's what I did anyways. So let's see how much time I can actually fit here. Because again, I do want to fit um, some time before time to go to work and after um, or the time that I have once I get home before we get to bed okay I think I can fit from 6 a.m. if I go all the way from the top to the bottom from 6 a.m. to 11 uh, p.m. and that should give me plenty of time to get up in the morning get ready have my me time because um, again remember that we are just applying what we usually do but pretending that we have a nine to seven job or nine to five job and um, just to kind of have a better idea on how we could still assign times to do what we want to do and still have the traditional nine to five job okay so I could fit until 10 p.m. and that's plenty I think if you get up at 6 a.m. and you are in bed by 10 p.m. hopefully asleep by 11 then you should get your seven hours of sleep so I think that should be fine um, at least it would be fine with me so um, using this time frame now I can start kind of looking into what is it that I like to do and um, things that that I want to accomplish I guess on a daily basis other things that I still have to get done adulting like family care or home care or family time um, stuff like that and how can I plug it in into the time that I will have I guess before work and after work so I guess that in this case if I have to be at work at 9 and I leave at 8 then this time right here will be the time that I will leave for work so I got 8 a.m. and then I'll be back at 6 p.m. which is just giving me an extra hour to either run errands if I have to like something quick I guess or um, just take my time if something happens in the way or if I take a little longer in the office and stuff like that and then I guess that between 8 and 6 I will have my hour of break just thinking that we all you know should get that at least that one hour sometimes we get a few minutes um, um, in the morning and then in the evening or something something like that but let's say that we just get that one hour of a break and usually that could be from 12 to 1 so let's just say that that's the case in this situation so we got from 12 to 1 and all I'm doing right now is just to know, um, giving me a visual I guess of the time that I have already sort of um, compromised so I guess that in this case I will encase the portion of work time um, or office work because there's really nothing that um, that can sort of be done I mean it depends on where you work right but um, but yeah, so let's just, I'm just going to outline here. 
and I am leaving it open for the commute just to kind of um, differentiate, I guess. Okay, so now that I have my my blocked time of commute and work, I have my open time of break or lunch time, my morning time and my evening time, I am going to start adding um, or creating actually a list of things that I want to accomplish. So this is my original uh, um, ideal day time track. So from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. So this one is much shorter um, because I wanted to focus, I guess, or I still want to focus on my sleep. But um, I am going to try to fit all of this still. So what I'll do is just gonna create a list of things and then I'm gonna arrange those to the times. Okay, so what I'll do is, um, based on the items that I know I want to do on a daily basis, I am going to start adding them here just to uh, tweak in a few things. So in the morning, I know that I like to, I'm just gonna use the spread right here. So in the morning, I know that I like to do my me time, meaning like journal, read, write, whatever it is that I feel like to doing in the morning is my me time because it's the quiet time of the day when I'm feeling a little bit more energized and more in sync, I guess, with myself, if I did rest well and stuff like that. But so let's say that morning, I do still want to keep my me time, so journal. I would like to, I would like to read um, this will be, I guess, since we don't have a lot of time before we have to leave for the office, I would like to inter interchange, I guess. So some days maybe I will journal or long journal. Some others I will just entry something shorter and then read. It depends on the mood and what I'm feeling. I have the feeling that I will just journal every morning and then maybe read some other time of the day, but I still want to at least have the idea or the option, I guess, to, to read in the morning. And then um, the other thing that I would like to do if I, um, if I have the time will be to film because again um, I don't see myself stopping my content creation if I were to go to an office every day I will just try to manage to incorporate the filming time and editing and uploading and all that stuff between you know the times that I have available so I will still try to do it in the morning so let's just say that I do either film or edit or upload so that's will still be there and then I will still take my supplements and try to do some workouts but I don't see myself doing that in the morning if I have to go to work afterwards unless I wake up super early so that will mean that I will have to go to bed much earlier so it depends on your schedule and your lifestyle but in my case that's not an option so um so yeah so I guess that at least these three will still still be important to me and I will still try to incorporate them in my schedule regardless and then the rest is or the afternoon or at some point during the day I will usually since I work from home I will do um, some of the work I would cook I would do any chore, house chores I will take a break and try to do um, have an early shower um, that's again since I work from home but since that's not the case what I will do is in um, interchange this afternoon routine with lunch time or lunch break right I will still eat have my meal right but then I will try to do some other things so if I want to upload or edit I could try to continue to do that in my lunch break so I can continue or do if I didn't get to do it in the morning continue not filming but editing and uploading and even social media to keep that up and what else I, I could still read if I don't have any editing to do, um, my social media, if I manage to get it done quick, I can read and eat at the same time. So that's that's an option there. And then in the evening, I will then try to incorporate my workout. So I will do, um, I would prep the meal for the day or cook, I guess, for the day. I would do one chore if I have to. I don't like to um, schedule chores every single day of my life I don't I'm not that kind of person I just do what I have to do on a daily basis and for anything that is more deep cleaning and stuff like that I actually schedule it like for a weekend or vacation and stuff like that so I do have my in the meal um, evening I will have my meal I will do one tour if I have to and I will do my workout and then um, 
family time, family time, and um, and any self care. So that still has, I guess, most of the things that, that that I would like to for sure incorporate. There's other things that I would like to do, like for example. Um, I do have some milestones or goals that I want to accomplish this year and they don't necessarily require daily to do's and stuff like that but they do require some kind of accountability and mindset and um, an actual in action to make them happen and that could be part of the filming so one of the goals is to continue to grow my media so this could be switched throughout the months between different goals so in this case I'm focusing I'll be focusing on my filming or my, my content or my social media um, or my online presence and but at some other um, for a few weeks I can switch it to a different goal so if I want to just focus on um, my workouts routine I could try to instead of film in the morning I could try to incorporate a smaller repetitions or workout in the morning and then um, I can do it again in the evening so something like that you can you can tweak it around to whatever you need right but in my case if I get these done throughout the day on a daily basis it doesn't have to be precisely be every single day but at least three or four days of the week to focus on these I can I can see myself progressing and implementing change even though I will have a nine to five job so that's the ideal anyways right but let's see how it actually looks on paper so I have two hours from six to seven from six to eight and by eight I have to be out the door so if I really really wake up at six I let's see actually let's do morning routines um, and then evening on the left so morning routine I'm gonna try to make this pretty because it, it just works for me so let's say morning So morning routine, I have two hours. The first thing is that I will wake up at 6 a.m. Now, if I happen to wake up late, um, or yeah, if I happen to wake up late, then obviously the plans will change. I will have to omit certain things that I would like to get done, and that's that. But I guess that will be my fault, right? So up at six, and then right if I want to journal, I will take about. I will take my time to get ready in the morning first thing that way that's out of the way so I'll take about 30 40 minutes so from 6 to 6 30 I will be getting ready I don't know how to arrange this that makes sense I just think I'm gonna move this closer and actually I'll be using my erasable pen because that way I can move it around instead of trying to white it out so I am up at 6 By 6.30, I'm getting ready. And at 7, from 6 to 7, I could journal. From 6.30, I'm sorry. From 6.30 to 7, I can journal. And um, that's, that's, to me, it's something that I have been trying to keep up with. And and stay consistent because um, yeah, it's it's part of mindset and more clarity and stuff like that. So I think that's a good practice to maintain. And then, um, so I will I will be journaling from 6:30 to 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. I can do the rest. So I already covered the journal portion. The next is read or journal. That was the the idea. So either read or journal. I chose the journal for this example. And then the next will be either filming or editing or uploading. Uh, um, anything that has to do with my side hustle right so I guess that for filming I usually take about 30 to 40 minutes um, and that is if I really have the inspiration to film something and just go with the flow and whatever comes out of it comes out of it right so I'll, I'll say it an hour or 40 minutes because I do have to leave by 8 so at 7 I will be filming 
and then by 7 40 i'll wrap up and leave at 8. so that it's my morning time and yes i um i have been um I guess I omitted the portion of making my coffee and eating something and I think that what I will do to make sure that that actually happens and actually have my things done it's making them the night before so the only thing that I will have to do in the morning is turn on the coffee machine and I can drink my coffee while I'm getting ready so um, yeah uh, so I left at 8 that's my commute I'm at work now at in my lunch time I could do I can eat my meal that I prepped the night before and um, I can work on some editing and and uh, what else I have here I have content social media post or read so I could just do eat my meal and I can do social media I could read or edit and edit or research, research I can switch these I can switch it uh, depending on what it, what it is that, that I'm working on and what I need and stuff like that so that will cover these portions and then I can just uh, in evening once I'm done I back at the office and then I'm done um, there's my commute and then I'm back at the house at 6 so at 6 I will right away try to get a meal prep or either today or the next day or both at the same time it depends on how it is maybe I could do um, meal prepping for the entire week on the weekend and that will um, eliminate having to take care of this throughout the week so yeah that's something that I will definitely do but let's say that I am doing it on a daily basis so every evening I'll get ready for the next day for that evening or the next day that's if that's making sense so here I'm getting the meal for that day to eat and then the next day um, and then I will do one tour if I have to and that's at six so let's say that from six to seven I'm working on meals then at seven I can do one tour and hopefully that won't take me one hour but it could be that I do a load of laundry or I sweep the floor or I dust or I clean the oven something like that so there's my chore and then at eight I can do um, actually I can hopefully just spend 30 minutes doing that and then at 7 30 I will do my workout so it's 7 30 to 8 that's my workout and that's just a lot allotting 30 minutes to the workout that's usually what I try to do anyways and if I continue if I do um, if I move my body throughout the day at some point, maybe I can even walk, go for a walk or a 30 minute walk in my lunch break. I can just take 30 minutes and do that. So those are things that you can kind of tweak around and switch and depending on what works for you. But um, that's something that I could do if I, if I wanted to. But let's say that I do have 30 minutes here from 7.30 to 8 p.m. to do my workout. Then at 8, I am showered. I have showered and I have my prep time for the next day at 8. From 8 to 8.30 and at 8.30 is family time from 8.30 to 9.30 and then at 9.30 is self-care and getting ready for bed and self-care could mean that I um, I don't know I just take my time I could read I could do um, I don't know I can anything that has to do with self-care I can even read again that's what I said right read write. I can update my pages and my journals and that's something that I consider is kind of self-care I can just go for a walk um, I don't know that I'll do that at 9 p.m. but um, it depends on where you are and stuff like that I don't think I will do that here but uh, that will be at 9 30 and then at 10 I could be in bed already And that doesn't mean that I'm asleep, I'm just at, in bed and I can just watch a show maybe, watch a movie or read again um, and then hopefully I will be sleeping by 11 so I can have my rest time and then the next day I can wake up energized to do all of these things. So I guess that it, it, leaving it here and keeping it simple, it's something that is doable, it's something that it's manageable and um, I don't know. Now. Uh, comparing this this is like the real sort of approach but let's compare this to the Hubbermans uh, I think that's his name Hubbermans I can't remember if I'm saying it right but it's Hubbermans routine I will link um, I guess some kind of uh, research about his approach um, to if in case you happen to be interested but yeah um, this is what he 
I guess, recommend, right? So that you wake up in the morning, like extremely early, so you can walk outside and have some sunlight and you make sure that you have your water, which is something that, yeah, I agree. Um, then you have time to meditate. Then you dedicate um, an hour, an hour and a half or something like that to um, your most important thing to do on that day. So deep work, whatever it is that you need to do, that it's most the urgent thing um, on that day. Then after that is when you get your coffee, which is not realistic for me. I need to have coffee soon as soon as I wake up. Then you need to work out. Then you need to go to take a cold shower. Then you eat your first meal of the day. So if you just consider this, this is all in the morning time before your actual day has even happened. So if I was a nine to five job, if I needed to be, or if I had a nine to five job, I needed to do this from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. And yeah, I don't, I don't see like my meditation and working on my most important thing, which I truly, I mean, I guess I could consider my filming my most important thing or my urgent personal um, thing to do. Um, hydrate, I can see that. I can drink water as soon as I wake up and then um, get ready. But um, but yeah, there's, there's some other things and then sunlight. If I wake up at 6 a.m., um, it depends on the time zone that you are anyways, when the sunlight, it's, the sun is out. Um, but I don't see myself taking a break from getting ready and doing all the things just to sit outside and get some sunlight. The one thing that I could do though is try to be close to a window where sunlight, there's some kind of sunlight, but yeah. Um, then um, after you get your first meal of the day, which is here, um, then you get to do the rest of your work and then you get ready for bed early so you can dim the lights. It says it says dim the lights or um, just kind of make it cozy and, and comfortable for the time and then read and then go to sleep. So I guess that the approach is not bad and it depends on what your priorities are, it depends on what it is that you want to accomplish and it depends on your motivation. So if you are not motivated to do any of the other stuff, like for example in my case I really want to continue to grow my media presence, So, but if that was not a motivation then obviously I will not take my time to film. And um, same thing with workouts, if that's not necessarily something that I'm interested in, I'm not going to take the time to do that, I'll probably just sit on the couch as soon as I get home and do nothing. So yeah, so yeah, if I was to have a 9 to 5 job, this is something that I would definitely do. I will tweak it every now and then, depending on the goals that I'm trying to achieve, and um, and yeah, just kind of keep an eye on how I'm spending my time, and that, that goes with you know your priorities and what it is that you want to accomplish how bad you really want that change that you want to like see in yourself in your life in your lifestyle um and how you want to how much are you willing to um invest i guess on on those type of goals and milestones and whatever it is that you want to accomplish so i think that it is doable it, it seems like it's constrained that there's constraint in <clears throat> very um time constraint i guess or strict but if you consider that this is only Monday through Friday and then Saturday and Sunday, you can just use this extra time that you have to go to the office to incorporate all the other things that you still want to do. Um, making sure that you, um, I guess I would make sure that I am including um, the goals and also resting and just fun and family time and me time. So, um, and then you'll have all those, the time available. The, the, the time is there. Everybody has the same time. And if you think about it, I mean, there's a lot of people that have accomplished so many things and, um, and we all have the same time. So it is all about allotting the, 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 the right time to the right goals at the, the right time. And that would not happen unless you tweak it and, and apply different approaches every now and then and just kind of allow yourself to see the possibilities. So, and, and I wanted to do this because again, I, I stumbled upon this video and I, I don't know, it's, it just seems so unrealistic to get all these things done before you even get your first meal of the day. So if you apply this to a person that actually has to go to work, it's, it's complicated because you have all of this time that it's already compromised. So, um, but it's also, it's complicated and it seems like it's a lot, but if you actually narrow down your your priorities and you make sure that you have them clear and then you allot them or assign them a specific time through of your day and that's not going to be perfect all the time. It's going to change. Sometimes you wake up later and there's that day maybe you can't get to film or do whatever it is that you're going to do in the morning and that's okay. You can just 
we reset the next day so anyways i wanted to take uh, the time to do this again with you on camera i wanted to do it anyways for myself and see how it could apply um, all of this to my own situation um if i was going to go to a nine to five job and i just wanted to see how i can make it work and i can make it work as long as i have my priorities clear so if you are in a situation similar to this if i do if you do want to or if you do have to go to work and you have to um, you trying to see if, how you can fit different things throughout the only time that you have available in the morning and in, in the evening or something like that. I hope that this this sort of process gives you an idea on how to do that. Um, just take the time, maybe the weekend, and, and do a similar spread or just jot down some ideas on what it is that you want to do and what time you do have available and see how can that work. So anyways, I hope that this video helps you in some way. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.